2012-13 Hockey East Coach of the Year nominee, Norm Bazin, UMass Lowell. The Riverhawks captured their first ever Hockey East regular season title with a stunning 18-3-1 finish. It marked the first time in Hockey East's 29-year history that a team other than BC, BU, UNH, and Maine accomplished that achievement. And the Riverhawks are going to be your Hockey East regular season champs. Under the tutelage of Coach Bazin, the Riverhawks finished second in Hockey East team defense, and rookie Connor Hellebuck led all goaltenders in goals against and save percentage. And bumped by Hellebuck at the other end. How about these two freshmen? Hellebuck was just one of nine freshmen that Coach Bazin incorporated into his team, making that first place title even more remarkable. 2012-13 Hockey East Coach of the Year nominee, Nate Lehman, Providence College. Providence College's third place Hockey East finish, along with back-to-back 10-plus -back win seasons for the first time in 12 years, demonstrates that second-year head coach Nate Lehman has the Friars on the right track. Out in front, rebound, out, loose, scramble, score! Saraceno does it to the Wildcats again! The young Friar roster, which includes 13 freshmen, the second highest total in the nation, had tremendous balanced scoring. 15 players had 10 or more points. Score! Jankowski gets the Friars on the board. The Friars set team records and fewest goals against in their Hockey East history, as well as team shutouts. A shot and a save by Gillies! Gillies once again comes up big. 2012-13 Hockey East Coach of the Year nominee, Jack Parker, Boston University. Jack Parker entered his 40th and final season with a reportedly talented freshman class, and the rookies did not disappoint. Freshman Danny O'Regan led all freshman forwards in scoring, while rookie defenseman Matt Grizzlick finished second at his position. Big shot score! Matt Grizzlick with a wrist shot from the top of the circle. Freshman goaltenders Sean McGuire and Matt O'Connor shined between the pipes. It marked the first time under Parker that any of his goaltenders had NCAA game experience, but both netminders finished in the top five in save percentage. He gives it up to Hayes. He walks in, deeks it a save by O'Connor. Parker successfully guided his team to home ice in the playoffs for the ninth consecutive season, an achievement that no hockey East coach can match.